Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer and welcome back to another video and in this video it is about Oblivion and why unless you're making a max level character you should stay away from all round characters. Now what I mean by all round characters is you have like three combat skills, two magic skills, two stealth skills. You know, you have a little bit of everything in there. Now, um, if you have mods, it will fix this. But we're talking about vanilla Oblivion and the DLCs that come with it. Oblivion has a very weird way of running its dungeons that I very much dislike, and that is characters level up with you. So every five levels, um, the monsters get bumped up. So, you know, at level one through five, you'd be fighting wolves, and then, let's just say at level 10, they get bumped up to timber wolves, and then at level 15, they you're going to start running into, like, bears and boars and then mountain bears. You know, it's, it goes up and up and up. That's it for... All the enemies in the game. That's one of the reasons actually why guards become easier and easier to fight is because they aren't really that scalable. Their skills are, but their equipment isn't. So with Oblivion, if you make an all-rounder character, what you're going to find is that you're not going to have... Let's just talk... I'm going to speak solely combat right now. Combat and magic. You're not going to have any high damage attacks, right? So my sword isn't going to be a four-shot kill unless they have protect. I'm not going to be able to kill some people with a lot of my, my magic. I'm not going to be able to heal myself enough. And you're going to have to use a mix of all your equipment, except that using a mix of all your equipment is kind of pointless. So I have a question for you. If I have a fireball that, just does, that does just as much damage as my bow... I wouldn't use my fireball at all because it uses my magic. I should just use my bow. So having that fireball is completely pointless to having my bow. So what do you do with your magic skills? You know, you have, you know, swords and bows, they do as much magic as your fireballs. What do you do? Is you pick some spell like alteration or illusion, right? Now here's a the problem. Then that affects your magic again and you can't heal yourself a lot. So what do you do? You either save up your potions, you learn alchemy to make healing potions, or you spend all your hard-earned money on potions. You gotta be able to carry these potions. But what do you have to do? Grind up strength. But then when you have to grind up strength, all the other skills that could be leveled up, you have to sacrifice. So then if you want a character with high health, you're gonna have high health, but then your sword's going to be doing damage because you're upping strength. We have strength endurance. You have to pick again between being able to heal yourself with magic or doing damage with your bows. So what happens is you have a character that can't really do a lot with what's available to them. You can sneak around. Granted, you know, you probably sneak around, shoot stuff with a bow, cast kind of mid-level spells. But let me just use alteration. If I learned alteration because I don't want to deal with lock picks. The locks get scaled up too. So I can't even, so I got to spend all this time leveling up alteration. Alteration's going to bump up. I think it's intelligence. I don't, I don't know what alteration's for, to be honest. That skill's going to get bumped up by five points, a t uh, five points a level. Then if I don't level it up, I'm wasting all these five points a level. You know, you kind of going to see what's going on here is that there's waste there, there's such a high chance to waste points for just a casual player. And not only that, but if you're a casual player, you're not going to be balancing out your loot as best as you can. You have to be able, for an all-round character to even work in the first place, be able to balance out what you have perfectly. Right? Example. For stealth skills, do I pick sneaking and making money or do i pick um archery and let's just say light armor is so archery light armor well i pick archery destruction's kind of useless but if i get rid of destruction i have to pick sword fighting blunt or hand to hand right and then if i pick sword fighting or blunt do i pick armor because at this point i have a bow and a sword so i need armor you know you don't need armor but you guys get the point is that if you're a casual player this build is just going to screw you over. Then all the enemies are going to get higher leveled, right? 
then you have a guy where you don't have the ability to do anti-magic to make it so if you go against a top tier mage you can't anti-magic him enough to for him to even like lose a lot of magical abilities i mean you might be able to silence him for a few seconds but it just doesn't work your enchanted equipment's gonna go up but then your enchantments you can't really synergize your enchantments right you have a strength enchantment here agility over here protection it just doesn't work very well so my advice is all rounders are good for max levels because if you know how to max level your character you're already thinking of why an all-rounder would be really, really good to have. And it's basically because you have a lot of control on when you level up. But for a casual player, someone who's just plays the game, getting back into it, leave the all-rounding alone. So that's what I have to say about that, guys. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, you can tell me in the comments below. I love chilling in this chair like this for some reason. This is like the angle of chairness that I like. So that's it. I. Appreciate the reception on the Shivering Isles playthrough. I know playthroughs, you know, you lose people at the beginning, but I'm enjoying it. It's a good supplement. So I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games, and I will see you in the next episode, stream, vlog, or steam it post. Whatever I decide to make.